Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today I'm cooking up some catfish nuggets and they're gonna be delicious. I can't wait to give these things a try. Now I've got about two pounds of catfish and I went in, you can get fillets and cut them into nuggets or you can go ahead and get the catfish nuggets themselves already cut up for you. If you do that though, do check them for bones, make sure there's nothing in there with them. Now we're gonna start off with our catfish nuggets and we're gonna coat, coat them with a little seasoning. It's just a little white pepper, some dry mustard, some cayenne, and a little crushed red pepper too. Then I'm gonna put about a cup of cornbread stuffing on top of them. Then I've got about a half of a finely diced up sweet onion. About a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. And about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. This stuff aside here. We're going to take a nice big lemon, cut that up, squeeze that juice on there, try to catch those seeds. We'll use our other half a little bit later. Got a lime. that in there. Now we're going to take this and really mix this up well. You want to make sure your catfish is all nice and coated. That cornbread is going to give it a good little crunch to it. Now all of this won't stick to your fish. Some of it's going to fall off in the pan. That's fine. It's all part of the experience. Now that we've got our catfish coated, we're going to set it aside. We're going to get our batter going. I got four egg whites about a half a cup of a nice dark beer and about a half of a cup of buttermilk. Now you could use regular milk if you wanted to. That's fine. I just like the sweetness of the buttermilk. Just like it a little bit better. And I've got two cups of flour here that I'm going to put just a little bit of seasoning in some Old Bay and some crushed red pepper. Bring our catfish back in here. And we'll take a couple of pieces, drop them down in our dredge here, and into the flour. Try not to wash all that stuff off of there. Oil's sitting at a high temp. It's probably going to kick it down a little when I dump these in there. It's all right. And you're just going to drop them in. It'll cook up probably for a couple of minutes until they're nice and golden. We'll be ready to go. Take them and flip them. Once that other side gets good and golden, you can see that, that good color to them. Take them, set them on a plate with a little bit of paper towel, kind of soak up some of that grease. All right, we're ready to do another batch. And you just want to keep rolling through these until you get them all done here. And they will be delicious. All right, now that our last of our little catfish nuggets have cooked up here, get them on the plate here. I don't think we got them all. Set those down. Grab a couple of these and get them on a plate. Get a good plate of these. Take a couple of chives. Cut this up. 
sprinkle them over the top. I'll put a little lemon juice on here. Usually for the kids, we'll make up some tartar sauce and some ketchup. We love cooking that up with our fish here at the house. Mm. Those are so good. That crunch that they have, that little extra kick from that crushed red pepper, those are delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed In the Kitchen with Ken this week, and I hope you give this recipe a try. We'll see you next time. Bye now.